Hey, this is one of the best days ever to finally have this next guest with me in studio. It's just wonderful. Master Gardener Cisco Morris, everyone. Oh, it's so wonderful being uh, here. You know, I Cisco, Frank, I don't, even, I don't even care what you talk about. Just to be standing next to me with clippers in hand, <laughs> it's all I needed. <laughs> and I got gloves on, too. We're ready to go to work here. Oh, we are. This is a perfect time to have you on the show talking about this because we're all doing some pruning right now. Yeah. Um, and I told you I just pruned my hydrangeas. I think I may have killed them for life. But <laughs> there, there is a time to prune everything, right? There is. And it all depends on when the plants bloom. Oh, that's good to so know. So anything that blooms in summer, like after the start of June, okay. like hydrangeas, roses, you know, a few other plants, you want to prune those right now. Right now. Okay, good. All yeah. right, good. And th this is something that I think that a lot of people don't understand is like where to prune them. That's my biggest issue. Like that is hard to know. So, so uh, I have your clippers th this here. This is a, yeah. Here. You you know these are serious by the way because they come with a holster. These are the best. Uh, these are the best trimmers you can get. Right okay. here, I'll tell you what. And you got to get right-handed or left-handed. I'm lefty, so I'm oh, going to need the left-handed. Oh, yeah. you need the left-handed. Okay, you want to do the pruning? Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'll do it with my right hand because uh, I can do all that. All right, yeah. Okay, so uh, this is salvia. Okay. This is uh, one called hot lips. Oh, hot oh, lips. Oh, it's a good one. And I'll tell you what, it does have hot lips as far as the hummingbirds are concerned. Oh. They're on this every second. Then I need one of these. So... Uh, when you see the new leaves start at okay. the base, so we can see some leaves are starting to come out. Yeah. You could cut this to four inches from the ground. From the so ground? So you could just chop it anywhere. That is literally cutting the tweedle out of that it. That is cutting the tweedle so out of it. So I would just it. cut it right. It doesn't matter if it's near yeah. a, a branch Man, point. Uh, I just on go. this plant, you could cut it anywhere you want, which is nice. Just like that. So there. And look at how beautiful that looks in the garden now. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> but this will grow back, okay. and it'll be over four feet tall and wide by the end of summer. I believe you. So you if, never lie to me about so things. So if we didn't cut the living twig, Weed a lot it is. It would be eight feet tall and wide, and all the flowers would just be on the outside because it flowers as it grows. That is so good. Okay. You told me this about my butterfly plants. All right, now, hydrangea. Now, there's different kinds of hydrangea, yeah. and it confuses people. Yes. So this is uh, this new series called Incredible. It is a giant ball. Yeah, yep. And uh, there, there are some with flowers this big on these kind. This kind are are a lot like uh, the salvia in okay. that you could cut them way down and as summer goes along and they grow, they keep putting out blooms. Oh, lovely. So, so this kind of hydrangea, if you don't want a tall one, this is the kind you want. Okay. This so has beautiful pink flowers. My natural instinct would be to cut it like right there above the buds, is that correct? Except you're going to want to cut it down like a foot from the ground. Really? Yeah, because otherwise it's going to get so big. Okay. And unruly and falling over. It's a lot prettier. Like here? Yeah. Now, oh, there's one thing. You do want to cut this one where at least there's a butt. So, so if this were coming out of the bottom, you'd want to cut right across Right above these buds. And I just killed your hydrangea, Cisco. All right. <laughs> It'll come back. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, Let's do one more hydrangea okay. and then move on to the roses. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's a, a regular hydrangea with a mm -hmm. mop head or the lace caps. And you see how the buds are really starting to swell? That's yeah. when you know it's time to prune. However, so this is the same kind. Here's the thing you got to know. Okay. That That's they, what mine look like. So, all right. They only bloom on what grew last year. Oh. So way up here it grew, way up here. So you can't cut it at the root? No. If you do that, you get no flowers. So if mm. you cut your hydrangeas way down, okay. you're not going to see a lot of color S this summer. That is smart. Okay. I'm glad that you told me that, and that means I did do the right thing because I've been Good. listening to you all One these years. One last thing about this. Yeah. Instead of... Uh, Trimming it too much, what I do is I cut out individual branches symmetrically, one third of them, right to the ground. Okay. And then on the top ones, you just cut back a couple of buds. Okay. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I love it. Now, roses confuse the Tweedle out of everybody. Roses, I used to have this tiny rose gardens in my house, and I just, it's too much. And they, the Tweedle is confused. Um, <laughs> so, how do we do this? We only have about well, a minute left. Okay, I always cut way down. Like here? To six inches. Now, 
you want to look for an outward facing bud. So here's one that broke. See how that's growing that way? Yeah. If you cut right above that, all the growth's going to go that way. Oh. We don't want the growth to go back in the middle. It's going to crowd the rows. So you want it to go yeah. up. So even when you're cutting way down, yeah. see that's an outward facing bud right there. I cut it right above or below? That, ab above. Okay. So any, okay, now, I'll not be now that see bud this. is going to break and it's going to grow. And, it, and so you could do the same. There's an outward facing bud right there. I see there. that. It's a tiny little notch right yeah. there you can see. Oh, this is genius. I'm so glad you told us that. Where were you, you know, a million years ago? You've been here. And I haven't <laughs> been listening. Next time I come on, we'll talk about roadies and camellias. Uh, okay, well, no we're going to have to have you those. back soon. Well, I th we best. Well, we best now that you're here. Oh, thank you, Cisco. Oh, this is so fun being here. Being with humans again. Oh, ooh la la. <laughs>